Hey folks, Bill here with Guillory Fine Art. Today I'm going to be working with layers, replacing color, and the magic brush. What I have is a hood ornament that I took during a car show, and I want to replace the background with, um, with another image and create something similar to this. So, we will select the hood ornament image. I'm going to scroll down. I have my background image in the same folder, and this is it right here. So I'm going to hit a control and select the background image. Now that I have both images selected, you can see with the blue line around it, I'm going to come over to my far right where it says layers. I'm going to select the layers. Say yes, I want to create a stacked photo. On one will import in both layers as you can see right here. Now had I mistakenly selected edit, that's not a problem. You can always add a layer by selecting the plus button. Navigate to your layer and for this case I'm going to select another image. Select this one. Come down on the far right. Add as layer. And there we go. We have all three images. Of course I don't need the top image so I'm going to right click and delete layer. Now I'm back to my two images. Now my background layer is on top and I want it on the bottom. It's easy to just click, drag, and drop below it. Now I'll click on the top image because I want to work on the top image. Now I could hit B on my keyboard which would bring up my brush uh, palette. But I'm going to go over to the far left and select mask. And this is all your masking brush selections. And the perfect brush is already selected. And as you can see, it works good to mask out trees and stuff like that. So, now on a, the way it works is wherever your plus or negative sign, right now it's in the negative, it's in the paint out. If I hold the Alt key down, it'll change to a plus, which is paint in. So whatever that symbol is on, whatever color and tones that it's on, it will mask out or paint in. And it'll leave the other tones alone. Now you can adjust on the, the gear icon up here, you can adjust the color threshold and stuff like this, amount and all this. But um, right now it seems to be working pretty good. And it is leaving the bars in here. So I'm going to go around my hood ornament and mask out the background. And I will be right back. Okay, folks. So I, um, I've gone around and masked out the perimeter. Now I've turned my magic brush or perfect brush off. So now any tonality that my brush goes over, it will wipe it out. Or if you hit Alt key, it'll paint it back in. So I'm going to real quickly paint out the rest of my background. I'm using a mouse and it is set up where I can uh, scroll on my mouse and change my brush size. I find that works pretty good. I haven't quite mastered working with a tablet yet. I do have a Wacom tablet, but for now I'm just using a mouse. Okay, so. I have <coughs> my background masks out 
And I'm going to go to my bottom layer. I'm going to come over to on the left side and select Transform. Holding the Shift key down, and you can grab a corner point and move it. It will transform. If you let go of the shifting Shift key, you can transform it in um, skewed directions, different, uh, you can skew the whole image. So now that I have it in place and I'm on this background layer, I'm going to go to develop and I want a little more of a drastic look. Well, wait, first of all, I'm going to do a control negative. I noticed the horizon is off just a little bit so I'm still in my transform I'm gonna click in this corner and rotate it to straighten my horizon say apply okay I'm gonna go back to fit and now I'm in the develop and I wanna take my exposure and drop it down about right there give a little dramatic now we're almost finished, but the only thing I notice is this orange is being reflected from a car on the side. So I want to go into my effects. I want to move off of my background and go on to my top layer. It's real important to know what layer you're working on. So my top layer is the one with the hood ornament. I'm going to add a filter. And I'm going to come down here and select Replace Color. The default, the target color is blue. And the color change is red. I'm going to select the red box. And I want to pick the screen color. And I'm going to come over and select really light blue. Say OK. And you can see it's changed to that color. Now I want the target color. So I'm going to do a control plus. Hold the shift while I pan down. And I'm going to select the eyedropper. And come over here and select the orange color. Now, it's changed the color, but it's too saturated for my taste. So I'm going to bring the saturation down quite a bit and I'm going to brighten it up some maybe bring it down just a little bit more now that's good control negative I can actually hit fit so now it's looking pretty good now that I have both of these layers the way I want it I'll come to the top layer and I'll right click I can uh, duplicate layer, delete layer, I can merge the layers, which would take both of these layers, merge them together into one, which I do want one layer merged, but right now I'm going to select a new stamp layer. And that will leave the original two layers and create a third layer that's stamped. So I'm going to turn my two bottom layers off. And this is my stamped layer right here. Now I can print it, export it, do whatever I want. I hope this was helpful and thank you for viewing.